said he is destroying what? The temple, the law. Mm -hmm. The Old Testament law. But we see what is happening here in the transfiguration. Moses, who is the lawgiver, we have to encourage Christ. And the uh, who is uh, chief prophet. Hmm. They will accuse us of destroying the church, of bringing confusion because of our prayer life. Our holy hour, our vigil. We have an accused of destroying our families. Somebody said it. Father Montfort, he takes wives away from their husbands. So, even their husbands, they will come to do visit. It's going to destroy families. Can you imagine that nonsense? When this prayer life is what God wants you to stand on families. Families break, not because they go to pray, but because they don't pray. If husband and wife would be spending their time praying, the devil cannot come in. So you see the story of Sarah in the Old Testament with Tobias? It was only the man of prayer, the woman of prayer, that saved that woman. All who were enjoying themselves with her, they would the last, the full morning, they would be dead. But God told Intruding and Raphael, spent the night in what? In what? In prayer. Hmm. After their marriage. They won't let pray. They are accused of so many things. Because we prostrate, we are being confusion in the church. How can adoration bring confusion? The same thing they accuse Jesus is causing confusion in the whole polity. Causing This is devil. They accuse you of disobedience. When you are the most obedient, Christ is the most obedient. Hmm? Oh, accused of disobedience. All these accusations, all this what people say, don't listen to them. Where they are praising you or condemning you, all these are nonsense. What's important is the Father has spoken. The Father speaks from heaven. This is my beloved son. You are my well pleased to him. Once the Father approves what you are doing, go ahead. Once God approves what you are doing, say what you are doing is my will. Go ahead. No matter what people say, it's a business. And I am absolutely sure that what you are doing is the will of God. Go ahead and live the life. Go ahead, do what you're doing. At last, it is only God who will judge.
against you. But if you want to please people, they will praise you. Oh, you are a wonderful person. You are a super sister. You are a super brother. You are a super this. Because you go to join them in their ballroom dances and the others and nonsense. You eat and drink coffee and they smoke cigarettes and wear jeans and they, uh, they say, oh, you're super. Wow. Michael Jackson. They always, yeah. Wonderful. At last, God will throw you away. Because he had not done his will. And all this is from people where they were. bring nothing. Concentrate on doing the will of God. God our Father, we thank you for this feast which you are teaching us the way of glory is the way of your will and doing your will here must attract suffering sacrifice, pain, condemnation from people, even from church authorities. I said, even by my priests. Even. What more than civil leaders? But um, while you are doing, I will continue. What you are doing is the right thing. At last, my immaculate heart must triumph. At last, the hearts of love must triumph. At last, the will of God must be done. they will realize that what you are doing is from God at last they will realize that you come from me so whatever you are doing listen to the Father the Father approves it go ahead God our Father, we thank you for speaking, approving your son in all he has done, in all he will do. Thank you for sending Moses and Elijah to strengthen him. Encouraging him to go ahead and suffer. Our Pope John Paul II, remember that old man who said to him, What? Hmm? If they elect you, do what? Do what? Accept. Hmm? The patriarch of Paul. Oh, he was a young cardinal, something years old. He was a little poor. He can't live now. If he elected the world, please accept. Hmm? Accept to do what? To suffer. Accept to carry the cross. Hmm? Something that Moses and Elijah did to Jesus, him, encouraging him to go to Jerusalem. And do what? Hmm? Yeah. To die. From this point, he f came up from the mountain and went first toward what? Jerusalem. To go and do what? To die. 
That's regression at the turning point. We're going to go to his death. Hmm? Something encouraged him. Hmm? To carry his cross, his responsibility. That's the way to serve the world. So anybody who will be your friend is not the person who will give you chocolate to eat. To distract you from your vacation. The person will encourage you, please, wake up. Go for adoration. Kneel down. Just prepare your homilies. Don't waste time. Anything. Sit down. Pray. Be dead. Take up your cross. Do the will of God. These are your friends. Those who will encourage you to do nothing but the will of God. No matter how painful it will be. These are your true friends. They are your true family members. They are your true helpers. The person who helps Jesus carry his cross, having to carry the cross to where he will die. He did <coughs> not take the cross away from Christ, no. If you watch that film, that film not the right thing, but uh, he carried Christ and was also dragging just kind of to who here? To who here? To go go to. To go and die. And our lady who helped Christ most, hmm, accompanying him, strengthening him to go and do what and die. Because it is the will of God. So Moses and Elijah who appeared today, that will come there to encourage Christ, please, 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 go to Jerusalem, please, carry the cross, please suffer all these things, please and the other for us, for the nation, the whole world. Please. They are begging him, encouraging him. To wake up in the morning, for morning prayers. Wake up, come from the holy hour. Do the holy hour well. Kneel well, prostrate, pray, keep awake. Do the vision well. Yes, this is those who really love you. The person who will say, well, you have walked so much, please come out. Don't, don't uh, go on holidays. Go where go to swim. Go to eat, eat, eat chocolate. That's nonsense. I'm mean, supposed to die. No. Eat after six o'clock. Then you eat night. In the evening. Yeah? You, uh, you're not tired. You should eat now. You're not a human being. Hmm? You're going to rest now. After all, you, uh, having the whole church in your head alone, the church is not your uh, the only person on earth. Can't sleep, bro. It's a nonsense. I'm not helping you. If you carry your cross, carry it, suffer it, endure it. You see, get go. You see, get. You see, get. Don't complain. Don't murmur. Carry it with all resignation. In Christ. Carried the cross without complaining, without murmuring, he endured all the lies.